here is a video on how to install vCenter Appliance. Here I'm on a Windows 2019 server and I've downloaded the ISO from VMware that has the installer. So what you do is you mount the ISO and you open it up and then in here you'll find in this VMware VSCA installer Win32 you'll find this installer right here. And this I found through watching videos on YouTube is the preferred way. So I will do my part to continue the uh, practice and show how this could be done. So I'm just going to install here. And it takes you through steps. So let's do that now. And I think there's a next down here. Yep, there it is. So, of course, we do the legalese here. Do a next. And I'm just going to use the easiest one possible, so the embedded controller. That's what we'll do with this one. Okay, now there's a bunch of questions. I think this is what I want here. Here, username root, and i got to put a password in here. I have the password pre-copied over here, so hopefully that'll go in right. Let me try and paste that password in here. Hopefully that's right. So now it will try and contact the ESXi host. So this this is basically ESXi. Uh, I think on this one I'm running uh, ESXi 6.5. Let's try and do that. So we'll get a cert warning. And if all is good, this is what you'll see. So I'm going to put a root password in here now. And this thing's pretty fussy on passwords. Ah, come on. Guess I'll put in a long one. I can see a password called very secure. All right, that works. All right, root password's in there, and I think with that we can log into the appliance from the console if we have to. All right, and I'm going to go tiny. Going to go thin too. And here's where it gets tricky. So I am going to use this internet network. And do I want to use that? This is the part where it gets stuck. I always get stuck right here. I know this IP address here is wrong. So I'm going to give this thing a public IP address, I think, and see how it goes. I've been able to put this, this appliance in here, but I can't log into it. So I'm going to try some different things here and see what I can do. So I'm going to put this thing on a public network and see what happens, see what it goes. And here on the public network, I'm going to get a gateway here. So this is going up into a cloud. So you got to be careful what you put in here or not. So I think the gateway I had in there was right and the IP address was wrong. And I could probably figure that out this way. Ping. Let's see what I had in for this. That looks like a public address. 
So I'm going to put this one in here. And now all the Chinese can hack my uh, server here because they, the, they know the IPs, right? All right, so that should do it, I'm hoping. DNS is in here, the supports, the network, IPv4, static. Let's see if she'll take that. This thing is actually very fussy. And what happened? Stage one, ready to go. Let's try it out. So this now diddles along, and it takes a long time. And this is the first stage. If this all works, there's a second stage that you have to fool with. So I haven't gotten yet to the second stage. I sure wish I could make this work. So this thing will make a, uh, a VM on the host. And I'm trying to find the uh, root password for the host. So I can show you how that works. Trying to find the root password on the cloud here. Stand by. I'm getting close. All right. I found the instance. Can I get the password? And that thing looks like it's getting around to being done. All right. I got my password. I'm going to log into the ESXi host now and see if we can do this. Password's in. Let's see if this will go here all right so this is my e6i host this is on 6.5 and what you'll see is it's creating a vm now there's one there the appliance ends up like this that's what's working on and it has all these hard drives and everything two cpus so hopefully i can log into this thing and get vcenter running Give it a try. It's been problematic. All right, that's my first part of vCenter setup. It's just going to finish here and just going to ask you to complete stage two. So there's nothing more to see with this. Just has to take some time now to finish. Okay, thanks for watching. And again, yeah, this makes a, uh, a VM uh, server appliance in here. And We can inspect what it's doing. This is interesting. It runs its own IS or OS. I think it's called Proton or something. So I was surprised by that. It looks like it's running some version of Linux that they've uh, named and put a, uh, a front end on it. So it's kind of cool. The only problem is if you get the wrong IP in this thing, you have to reinstall it completely. There's no way to really log into the um, vCenter that I know of yet. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.